Cannon Ray, a former four-star prospect, a former U.S. Army All-American, and a former UCLA signee, ends up with the Buffaloes. UCLA wanted him to wait and enroll after gray shirting until April. His lack of patience with that situation pays off for the Buffaloes. Oh, big time. And he fits in with every single one of those highly ranked offensive linemen that we signed in the last class. And um, his ranking, he's he's a consensus four-star and, and just had offers from everybody, all the way from Tennessee and Texas A&M, all the way up to Oregon and UCLA. So it was really a huge catch for us. He went to Sierra Canyon High School in the Los Angeles area. Uh, he did get checked out by SU's medical staff. He's got a knee injury, a shoulder injury that he's coming back from. Uh, he's not a guy that's going to be jumping right into the mix. He's already on campus at CU, but it's going to take some time for him. And, and with offensive linemen, you, you're never really going to get that immediate payoff in most cases anyways. Most of the time, every now and then you get a guy that steps in and, and he's super great as a freshman, and maybe this is the kid. I mean, he's already he, – he's – says that he's 285, 290, so by next fall he could easily be 300 pounds and he's got the frame, could play any one of the five positions. What I like about him is his maturity. You know, he said in an interview with you, I think he said, I understand I'm not going to be a tackle because I'm not 6'8", but I think he could play out there if he needed him to. I mean, he's certainly got the, the mobility and really good pass pro technique, and he's just so aggressive and mean. He plays mean. It's beautiful to watch. So you tried to recruit him when he was coming out of high school, but he wasn't all that interested, which is interesting when he reopened things. C was the only school he wanted his high school coach to, to contact. So he saw an opportunity in Boulder. You mentioned uh, that he's nasty. He's also light on his feet. It, right. any, any particular plays that kind of showcase that for you? Well, I think the very first player, maybe the second play at the 15-second mark of the tape, they, they, he's playing right tackle. They were on a counter tray, and so both he and the guard pull. And... Um, He's very he's very fluid as he runs, but on that play, he gets all the way out and blocks the safety about 15 yards downfield for a touchdown block. And whoever saw a, a, a tackle from the all, all the way from the other side of the line come across the line and get all the way 15 yards downfield and block a safety. I mean, you don't see that with a kid that size very often. So that athleticism is fantastic. This is the way a film for an offensive lineman should look. This is the way a power five offensive line film should look because every single play in this video is amazing in one sense or the other, whether it's pass or run. At the 114 mark, he's doing pass protection and he does a really nice job. He's got a nice straight back. He engages with his hands. He's got really nice feet. He never gets his feet together. Um, keeps a nice base and does a really good job in pass protection against smaller guys, bigger guys. And then there's a play on the goal line at the 238 mark where he's got nice low pads and he gets up underneath this big defensive tackle and just rolls him up, drives him five yards back and puts him on his back in the back of the end zone. And then another one that stands out to me at the 337 mark, you see, just I wrote down, he's relentless and he never stops blocking. And there's several times during the tape where he takes a guy and he's just, everybody else is standing still and he's still driving this guy 15 or 20 yards down the field. And the refs had to make him stop because he's just so relentless. And so I would say any play that you watch in that highlight reel, you're going to be impressed with because he's explosive in the run game. He's nimble in the pass protection game. He's very aware of where guys are. If you watch him pull, he's always got his eyes downfield. He's not worrying about where people are. So I think just think he's a kid that can do it all. You know, I, I looked at him play there, and I think, okay, maybe he's, he's the guy that we groom for our next center. You know, but I think if you put him at guard, he's going to be a, a steamroller. You look at him on tape, and I think he's going to easily get up to 310 and be a kind of guy who's an All-America candidate. And Cannon Ray was actually the most valuable player, not of his team, but in his entire league, both as a junior and senior. You don't right. see that happen often with offensive linemen. Well, that's crazy. And, you know, I think I think they should see it more often. But <laughs> he's a kid. I mean, I think they were state champions um, his senior year. And they're playing, they're playing good teams in California. He's playing against good, big defensive tackles, quick linebackers. And you see him really do a little bit of everything. All right. That's our Buff Stampede film room breakdown of Cannon Ray. Thank <laughs> you.